Hey, Suga, it's your girl Risa coming to you guys this morning. It is Saturday morning, y'all, and I'm coming with a um, a product to test and give you my first impressions on it. Um, the product I received in the mail to do a review on, and it is a facial cleanser and a facial moisturizer but before i get started i want to say welcome new subscribers i seen y'all hugs kisses and many blessings this morning i hope you guys are in good spirits um if not i pray that god come and answer your call today that you'll be able to find something to be happy about today um sometimes it seems like that's a hard task but it is possible and um i hope that you guys find that today um for those of you that watched my last Google Hangout, I know it was terrible. I know I sound like uh, some stuff was going on, but um, I hope you guys were able to hear enough to hear the message. I didn't realize it was that bad because I was I could not hear it myself until after I went back and watched it. And so I apologize for such a terrible uh, sound and quality. Um, I don't know how to fix my laptop to where it does better, so... Uh, most likely, I'll be taking it back. Um, I'm going to have to see if Old Faithful will um, will let me connect. So, I'm coming to you this morning. Uh, this morning, well, starting last night, I started reading Job, the book of Job. And I read chapter 1, 2, 3. And I think I started on 4. And um, basically through those first four chapters all that job went through how the devil had to get permission y'all know this story to um even just tempt him okay but he only st he still only had so much leeway with him and how even his family and his friends the friends wanted to know well what did you do you know basically i'm paraphrasing what did you do you know his wife was like you still gonna hold on to that are you just gonna go ahead and just you know just Tell him about himself, talking talking about God. And he was like, woman, you talking foolish, okay? <laughs> you know? Um, and it's just basically teaching us from my point of view and what I've read um, that we got to hold on, okay? You cannot sin through your trials and tribulations. You got to just praise God through it, even though that's the hardest thing to do. And even Job, he cursed the day that he was born. You know, he just had nothing good to say about the day that he was born because of all that he was going through. He felt as though God just, you know, just just boxed him in, you know, just like I can't come out of this. And and we all feel that way sometimes, you know, sometimes like God has just left me. Like I've, I've been so horrible in my life. He's just not going to answer my prayers. And, um, you know, it's just, we just don't know what goes on in each other's life, but God already knows. And the concept of what we're going through, do God not have an answer? Do he not have an answer? I believe he does. It's just us going through and we want things to be our way. We don't want to suffer. None of us wants to suffer. None of us wants to hurt. None of us wants to lose family members, friends, be mistreated. But in the midst of God allowing you to be tested to a certain extent, you got to know, and this is for me, you got to know that even through this, I cannot faint. I cannot give up. I got to continue to trust God. I got to continue to pray, knowing that he has an answer. He has not left me. He's there. He's there protecting you. You know, it didn't. he didn't let the devil overtake you because the devil really wants to do that. He just wants to devour you. You know, like there's nothing left. He just want to just eat you up. He want to just destroy you, just make you suffer, suffer, suffer. I mean, just do all kinds of things to you, you know, but, um, through those hard times, it seems so simple to say, pray about everything, but just continue to talk to God. 
even if you got questions, even if you have um, things you want to say that, Lord, why me? You know, even though, why not us? We're no different than anybody else. Why not us? Why not you? But I've been good. You know, I've tried my best to keep keep my words to myself and try to treat people with kindness. But look at Jesus Christ. He suffered. He suffered. He went through. He endured to the end. He got frustrated. He had some things to say. He didn't really want to go ahead and do it at some point, but he had to do it. And that's all of us. So whatever you're going through today, think about it. Um, my post was, um, how did I word it? Do we, do we use our gifts? Um, do we use our gifts that God give us? Out of expectation, or, or or do we do it from the heart? Do we do things for people because we're expected to? Um, because we know that God wants this for us, or do we do it with a willing heart because God wants us? Is are you just are you empowered to do it? Are you doing it with joy and gladness, or are you doing it with because oh I gotta do this because um God watching me I gotta do this. So what are we doing? And I had my moment last night. This is my testimony or testify, testimony, whatever you want to say, confession. I was in Walmart last night and I was down the aisle picking up laundry detergent and cleaning supplies. And I was talking to a lady and her son, I guess evidently he didn't like the two of us having a conversation. Of course, of course I'm black and she was white. And so as they walked past, he had something negative to say. And she was like, it was just two of us on the aisle. Okay, and she was talking to me and she was like, son, that's not nice. If you don't have something nice to say, you shouldn't say something at all. And I was like, wow. You know, and he wasn't a little boy either. And I just kept on shopping. And then I, I turned around. I went down to the end of the aisle and I came back and I, I was looking for something. And I saw it was like a bunch of people at the end of the aisle where she was. And I saw her turn around. And I heard her mention something about money. That's a lot of money, you know. And I just saw these people. I didn't know if she knew them or what. But there was a guy who had his phone. He was showing her something. They were just casually talking. So I couldn't get through. So I turned around and went the other way. And it was on me that, okay, maybe he's asking her for money. So I just kept going. And they did eventually come behind me. And they didn't say anything. So I was in the store for, I know, maybe two hours, okay? I walked from down where the food is, all the way down where auto supplies, on the round to wear makeup. And I was on the clearance aisle going towards the garden center. Just me. I was already kind of nervous being back there, nobody back there. You know, there's some cuckoo bugs in this world, okay? And so I'm standing there. Here comes the man and the lady. Okay, and I look up and he pulls out his phone. And he showed me a picture of a a burned. I don't know if it was a house or a trail. I mean, completely burned. And he was like, ma'am, this happened to us this afternoon. And I don't have any. I think he say. All I'm asking for is some I need, I need some money to get some gas to get to work. And so I didn't say anything right then. And I, I just was like, I was I guess I was trying to give him a chance to say what he needed to say. And then I'm trying to figure out, okay, how I'm going to do this. I know I had a few dollars in my purse, but I didn't want to go digging in my purse right in front of them because you don't know people like that. So I said, okay, well, let me give me five minutes. Let me go up here to the front. He said, so you want us to stay here? Or do you want us to follow you? I said, well, y'all come on. So I'm walking. He said, do you need to pick up anything in between here and there? I said, no, just come on. And so I get up there and I go, I said, y'all just wait right here. They were on the other side, on this side of the money center, you know, the little square where they have where you could do um, uh, money, money grams and things like that. They were on this side and here's the big center. I went on the other side to custom service. They had an ATM machine. I'm not using the ATM machine, but I didn't want them folks seeing me dig in my purse. Okay. Well, one of them to jack me up. So I went in and I got a few dollars out and I turned around and I walked back and I had, he said, ma'am, he said, I want to tell you, 
I want to say thank you. He said, because we walked this entire store asking people for help. And you're the only one that helped us. And I knew he was telling the truth because I saw him. I saw them in the store. I saw them walking around in the store. But they didn't come up to me. And so I looked at it as when I first saw them on the first aisle, what I got from that message last night is that um, kind of like I turned away. Like, okay, don't come ask me in a way. But... I had the opportunity to where I was going to be, whether I was going to do it willingly or whether I was going to do it regretfully. You know, like I, I really don't want to do this, but I'm going to do it, you know, and that was my self check for last night. That was my self check to make sure I'm doing it. Well, I'm doing it with the right heart, whether I'm doing it because it's what God has ordained me to do because he, he says give. You know, and can I do it with love? Can I do it knowing um, that I'm blessing somebody? Or am I going to do it because I'm worrying about what they doing or whether they're telling me a lie? So while, while I was riding home, I was like, you know, I thought about I was nervous because I was like, wow. You know, then the devil, he starts he starts creeping in and he starts talking in my ear, you know, you don't know them people. They could be waiting outside for you, this, that, and the other. And then that small voice come up, but God said he'd never leave you nor forsake you. If, but do you think that God will let them hurt you? You're doing something for him. Do you think God will let them hurt you? You know, then I started to say, well, you know, Lord, it's not that I don't trust you, but I know things happen. I know some people don't listen to you. They'll listen to the devil. They'll go by their flesh. They do things, you know. And so that's my self check. That is me. It also prompts me to actually um, think about whether I really and truly trust God in all situations. Okay. So I know I don't spent 12 minutes on that. <laughs> so um, I want to say be encouraged today. Be encouraged today. Um, do a self-check today, you guys, on what is your motive for the things that you do? Are you really and truly trusting God or are you just acting as such? You know, do you not believe that he'll protect you if you ask? You know, if you believe his word? And it's kind of it's kind of confusing because you're like, I see all of these people getting hurt. Church members getting shot up, this, that, and the other. You know, so what do you do? You know? How do you feel? What do you think? Where do you go? All you have, you, you just got to trust God. We got to know that he has a plan for our life. We got to know um, that we have to pray about everything. And we just got to lean on him. Talk to God about it. Um. If any of you have anything that you want to add, please put it down below. If there's anything that's um, that I feel like is um, a little shady, you know what I mean? Y'all won't see it because I don't want people, you know, people going to put their comments out there, y'all. But I mean, seriously, some of them I do leave. Because if you if you just that bold to do and say things like that, I mean, like you really just didn't care who saw it, you know. So some things I leave and some things I may not. Um, yeah. So I'll be back, y'all, with the facial scrub video. Okay? I love y'all. God bless you.